everyone, it's Ed from Ed's Junk. Uh, I'm here with another Ed's Junk Shop vlog. Um, today I'm going to show you kind of a work in progress of something I've been working on for the last about month, month and a half. You may have seen some of my videos on my channel of uh, just quick, uh, if you will, you know, uh, teases of what I've been working on. It's been, uh, what I've been doing is building the little Terminator Mini Hunter. Um, this is from Terminator 2 3D at Universal Orlando. And also it was in Hollywood. I know, I think they're pretty, pretty sure they got rid of it. And also one, I think, in uh, China. Um, it's a little Mini Hunters that were chasing around uh, John Connor and Arnold Schwarzenegger um, in that 3D ride. All right, guys, so I don't know about you, but I'm a big Terminator fan. I've always loved the Terminator series, really enjoyed just the movies ever since, since I was a kid. Um, loved them, and I've always loved going to Universal Studios in Orlando. Well, I love the Terminator ride and Universal Studios for obvious reasons, and something that that ride has that's unique to that specific movie compared to uh, the other Terminators is it had these four little mini hunters. They were basically well looked like this, uh, and they flew into a parking garage and uh, was going after John Connor and the T-800 and Arnold. Um, I always loved them as a kid. I always thought they were cool, kind of kept my eye out, but nothing ever really came up about them. They were never for sale. You can never buy toys of them because it's just kind of a unique thing for that movie. Um, recently, I went to Universal and I watched, you know, I went on the ride. And as I watched, I go, hey, maybe I could do that. Maybe I can make my own. Um, the last fully 3D model that I did myself was uh, Weibo. And although it's still complicated on the inside, is obviously a pretty basic shape on the outside. So with the Terminator Mini Hunter, there's a little more to it, and I wanted to uh, tackle the project. Um, unfortunately, kind of like Weibo, there's not that much information out there um, about them. A few people have been able to purchase either screen use props or um, from the store at, as you're coming out of the ride. Um, so there's a little bit of reference material. I took that and kind of made my own, um, as you can see here. Um, this little guy, <clears throat> is um, completely fully 3D printed, um, got the light up eyes, has the gun below, the plasma cannon, um, and is should be to the exact size and specifications as they had in um, in the ride. But I wanted mine to be a little different. Um, in the ride, it was all CG. Um, I think they had maybe one or two practical props that I think Arnold smashed and held onto, but they obviously weren't flying. Well, with drone technology now, uh, it's given us the ability to make little things fly in very accurately. Um, so I designed mine in a way that I could possibly try to make it fly and it's been interesting to say the least. Um, you can see inside here I've got obviously four quad copter props. Those are I believe I think they're three inch three inch or three and a half inch props. I'll put in the bottom in my description exactly what they were. I can't remember. Um, and they're run by small motors in here. Um, so let's start off with how I built it. Um, it's obviously a little too big to print on my MakerBot um, as one whole piece. And also when you print pieces that large, it starts to want to warp. So this is actually built, and I would probably say about 20-something 20, 20 different pieces. Um, the main ring along the top here, uh, the main ring here was eight individual pieces, top and bottom. So a total of 16 parts to just print the main ring. Um, and obviously this top cover here is different. Um, the gun was of multiple parts. Um, and all those parts are actually available on my website, guys, at edsjunk.net. Because um, you guys can, if you want to take it and print your own, feel free. Um, so that was all put together, and then I started testing its flight characteristics after I built the frame. Um, and how I did this, I used a DJI NASA, NASA 2, I believe is what it was. It's basically a flight controller that you can buy for a quadcopter so you can design your own drones. Um, mainly for racing drones, and that's what these props are used for. But I use that because I'm familiar with DJI. I've got a Phantom and an Inspire, and now uh, <laughs> a Mini Hunter. Um, it basically takes all the hard work out of programming these and the stability, and it kind of uses DJI stability controllers so you can have a stable drone without too much effort. Um, that being said, the design of this drone makes it an unstable drone anyway. Um, most drones, as you can see with my... Uh, and this is my Phantom 2, the props are large and they're on the outside of all the weight. So if you've got your weight in the middle here, like the camera um, and all the batteries, then you have your props on the outside of the weight. This is obviously for better control, there's more leverage. Um, if you even want to, I don't know if it's even considered leverage, but more leverage when it spins up a prop to offset the weight 
or when you're flying, it's a lot easier for it to move that weight. In my drone, because of I didn't want props on the outside of it, because that's just not how it was. My props are on the inside of it. So before I painted it, uh, like I said, I tried to do some test flights and got it to fly. As you guys can see in this video now, it is actually flying with the gun, with everything inside of it, and working without um, any assistance. It's doing it with the four props inside and flying decent. Now it's not, you, you can't be highly maneuverable with it because if it starts getting off too much on the weight, it will it'll, it'll lose, it's, lose control and come crashing down pretty violently actually. So after getting all the paint on it, guys, it was having some trouble. I believe that there's two, two reasons for this. I think that, one, I'm really pushing the max weight of what this system can, can support, especially with it being on the inside of all the weight and with the weight being like outside of the props. Um, I'm pushing it to its max capabilities. It's having a hard time even keeping um, elevation just because it wants to drop and you give it some speed, it comes too high up. So after I painted it and primered it and put filler in it and all of that, I think that kind of really put the weight almost just above its limit so it's been real unstable since then, especially with the gun attached. If I take the gun off, it's more stable and it can fly a lot better, um, even though it did fly with the gun when it wasn't painted. It's been kind of a fun thing to try to figure out. I made the gun hollow, as you can see here, for, to allow more wind to blow through it, more air. Um, but it's still, it, it's still just a little too much. And I wanted to make it as realistic as possible from the, from the movie, other than being able to shoot out actual plasma out of its cannon. Um, that being said, as you guys can see here, the eyes themselves actually move. You can see that. Let's see here. As you can see, the eyes actually move, just like in the, uh, in the Terminator ride. Um, and how I did this, I put a servo inside and hooked it up to the, um, the camera tilt function of the DJI Inspire. So when you move your controller here, the eyes will move, just like in the, in the ride. And there's just simple red LEDs in there to light it up. Um, all the files, though, guys, are available on edgejunk.net if you guys want to hopefully build your own. Um, let's go ahead and take it outside and see how it flies, fully painted, um, ready to go. Um, my guess is it's gonna, it's gonna, we're gonna have some crashes and hopefully it'll stay together in one piece. So let's give it a shot. All right, guys, um, we're here. We're gonna try to fly the uh, Mini Hunter. It hasn't been very successful here so far after the paint job, but here's yet another flight. Let's give it a shot. Let's turn her on. All righty, here we go. All right, guys, we're gonna try the Mini Hunter now without the gun. The gun usually causes me a lot of trouble. Um, so let's just go ahead and take off without the gun. As you can see, it's working. So as you guys can tell, the, the gun is causing me a lot of trouble. It's putting it just a little bit overweight. As you saw in the video before this, it did fly with the gun before I painted it. I feel like the weight ratio for these motors, it's really at its limit. And when I put all the filler primer and paint on this, I believe that's kind of just barely set it over the, its edge and it has a hard time staying up as you can see in the video before. Um, but without the gun, it flies pretty good. Um, you can see it kind of wanting the brink come down every once in a while. I don't know, maybe one of the motors are going bad. But either way, there you go. There's the Terminator Mini Hunter uh, missing one eye light uh, drone. Well, that didn't go great uh, according to plan how I wanted it to. Obviously, um, you guys saw it had a hard time flying without with the gun attached. If I took the gun off, it could fly around pretty well. Um, you can see it almost kind of like wanting to jump a little bit. I think one of my motors might be going bad, which is causing that. And But now that it's all sealed up, it's kind of hard for me to get on the inside of it and get to the motors. But yeah, guys, that's my uh, video for this week. Um, go check out my website, edgejunk.net. 
all the, like I said, all the files are there for anyone to download. If you guys want to check it out, maybe build your own. If you do, send me, comment, email me. I'd like to see your progress on if you make one. And hopefully someone can maybe make it fly and maybe gives me some tips. I'm not great at drone building. This is my first drone I've ever built. So I'm really curious if maybe there's something that I'm missing or um, maybe there's just one little thing that's wrong that someone can say, hey, Ed, you just got to fix this and it'll fly a lot better. I hope that's all it is. Um, and maybe I can make this thing fly better. For now, it's kind of looking cool sitting in my uh, theater of my house. It's a great prop. I love it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. Thanks, guys. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you next week. Guys, thanks for watching Ed's Shop Vlog. If there's any other videos you guys like to see, comment below. Let me know what you think. Um, please subscribe to my channel, guys. It helps me a lot. Uh, I'm going to keep hopefully doing this, keep making more videos for you guys to enjoy different projects I'm working on. Um, but yeah, that is the Terminator Mini Drone.